Hey guys, so it's that time of the month again where June is over with, so it is time for my monthly favorites video. And I know this is going to be up a little bit late, and I apologize for that. Um, but if you guys have seen my update video, then you'll understand why I took a little hiatus from YouTube and making videos and everything like that. But I am really excited to be getting back on track with things. And um, yeah, so I, this month I have been loving a lot of products. Um, a lot of them I think are going to be like repeat offenders, like I've mentioned them before in favorites videos, others are a little bit new, um, I'm sorry but this month I've just been kind of, well the month of June I was just kind of sticking to things like I know I'd love and everything like that and I don't know, that's just how things turned out. So um, yeah I'm going to go ahead and just get right on into this favorites video. So, where should I start? I don't even know. I guess first thing first is something that I have been using like non-stop are neutral eyeshadows. Like, oh my gosh, between my Naked palettes, um, I have both the Naked 1 and the Naked 2 and my Nude 2 palette from the Balm. These have literally been the only eyeshadows I have been using all month long just because, um, I have a job at Michael Kors now and over there you're only supposed to wear like neutral eyeshadows. So even though I literally have a million and one neutral eyeshadows, like single ones or my MAC ones, I've just been reaching for these just because all the colors I need are in here. I know I'm allowed to wear all of them because they're neutral colors. So I've just kind of been sticking to these and I've been loving them, which is nice though because literally I bought my Naked palettes and they literally sat there for like a month. Like, my Naked 2 palette, I don't even think saw any love whatsoever for the longest time. But finally, I mean, look at it. It still looks brand new, and I've been using it a ton. And uh, let me not blind you guys. Can you guys even tell? Probably not a whole lot. But um, I do reach for the Naked palette the most, I think, out of the both of them. Just because um, this does this is a warmer toned palette versus a cooler one. But really, it depends on like my outfit. Like Obviously, if I'm wearing a cooler toned outfit, sometimes I'll go with a cooler toned makeup look. Or I'll do the opposite because since I'm wearing such cool colors, I'll want to have a warmer complexion. It really just depends on my mood. But of course, warm colors are ones that I tend to gravitate to. Just because since I'm so light, I feel like they look better on me um so I've been loving any neutral color eyeshadows in those three palettes have been the ones that I've been reaching for the most and next thing I guess we can talk about is uh, we'll go with concealers um, sorry if this is like random and like not in any particular order like I don't know some people I think like do like okay, face then eyes then lips I'm kind of just like bam whenever I see we're gonna do that today um, so this concealer I actually hauled in my huge drugstore haul video, I believe, and this is the CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer, and I know when I went ahead and um, hauled it in the video, I mentioned that I didn't really like it, um, or I didn't think it was going to be a good match because it was too pink, but... Um, I actually absolutely love this stuff. It is so creamy and absolutely perfect for your under eye area. And I feel like this is still light enough to brighten up my um, complexion um, underneath my eye and everything like that. So that's exactly what I want for, you know, I want to have a really bright face, look like I'm awake, especially when I'm working early in the morning and I didn't get enough sleep the night before. <laughs> Next, on the topic of concealers, I picked up this CoverGirl Fresh Complexion. Um, this would be a liquid concealer, and I use this stuff all the time when I was in middle school and high school, and for some reason, I just stopped using it. I think mine, like, dried up, or these have a really bad habit of, like, when you twist it, the, like, cap ends up breaking. I don't know how, because it's not even like I'm twisting it, you know, once it stops, but, um... Yeah, the lids for some reason always have a really bad habit of cracking. But I went ahead and this was, I don't know if I had a coupon for it or if it was on sale somewhere. Um, but I went ahead and decided to pick this up, you know, give it a go again. And I got it in the lightest shade, I believe. This is Buff Beige. This might be the second lightest shade just because I think the one below it might have been like white. But it's either the first or the lightest shade. And I got this also for pretty much this little triangle on my face here. Um where I want to have it bright, especially if I'm wearing a dark eye that day or if my dark circles are extra dark. Um, once again, just a really nice brightening concealer. 
This next product is an eyeliner and I think it is one of the best eyeliners I own and it's actually the NYX retractable eyeliner and this is their waterproof one. Um, I believe it's waterproof. Yep. Yeah. It's waterproof. And this is just in this really pretty teal color. This is called Aqua Green. I think in last month's favorites or in another video I mentioned my um, MAC eyeliner and this is in the color So There Jade. They are pretty similar. Like I'll go ahead. This is the MAC one. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it. That's that. And then this one. So they're pretty similar color wise. The only difference is I think the NYX one is just darker into maybe more of a blue. There's more blue in this one and then this one swatch is kind of on the lighter side and there's more green but they're in the same kind of color family. Um, so yeah, so I went ahead and this had been sitting in like my little eyeliner cup and I'd been looking at it and then finally one day I decided to use it just for like a pop of color on my lower lash line and this stuff goes on so creamy. I don't have to like, it doesn't feel like I'm tugging on my lower lash line. It goes on so easy. It is so soft and it stays in place. Maybe because it's like a waterproof one, but it doesn't transfer. It stays in place. I absolutely love it and I think it's going to cost me any more than four dollars. So I'm definitely going to be making a trip to Ulta at the end of the month um, and definitely pick up some more colors because I love it. It's such a good eyeliner and it stays in place, especially because no matter what I put on my lower lash line, whether I have a primer on there or not, it always moves. Eyeshadows move, eyeliners move. It's always just a mess down here just because I have such oily skin, eyelids, just everything. The only thing on my face that always seems to have a problem though is my lips. Everywhere else is oily and my lips are always so dry. It's like the weirdest thing in the world. So now on to cheek products. I've been loving two products and I believe the first one, I can't remember if I mentioned it in a video before. Like if it was last one's favorites video, that'd be pretty bad. I can't, isn't it bad that like I don't remember these things? But um, it's the Bio Bombshell blush in the color Sweet Cheeks. Um, we got this in my Ipsy bag one month and it's phenomenal. I absolutely love it. Now that I think about it, I have a pretty good feeling I did mention this in last month's favorite video. I don't know. Forgive me guys, but I've just still been using this stuff because it is just a gorgeous, super girly, super bright pink. It does have some shimmer in it, so when you put it on, it almost looks like you mixed a matte blush with like the perfect amount of like a really iridescent, shimmery um, like liquid highlighter. Like it's not like chunky glitter by any means. When you put it on though, it just gives you, I think it's called a pearl finish maybe. Um, the most gorgeous finish and you just look like you have glowing skin and that's something I really go for in the summer months. And then this next blush is actually on the other side of things. It is a bright blush but it's not a pink one. Surprise, surprise. Um, if I could get the little stickers off me. But this is a Milani Baked Blush and I was just trying to peel off the uh, the clearance sticker. I think I got this for $1.76. That's how much I got this for. Um, I think it might have been like an online, like someone bought it online, didn't like it and returned it um, or something like that. But um, it's this baked blush and this is one of my first Milani blushes and I've really been enjoying it. It's this super bright orange color. Like, honestly, I got this and I was like, I'm probably never going to wear it. But just because it's $1.76, I'm going to get it anyways. And I tried it out a couple times and loved it. So um, I started using it more frequently. And it's just this really pretty corally orange. Like, it's more of an orange ah, than a coral. Um, it does come with a little mirror and a compartment that flaps down. So maybe if I hold it this way, I guess. Ugh, this is so awkward. Um, but I don't even know what I was saying. Um, so I did wear it a couple times and I do love it. This one is on the shimmery side, um, as I'm sure you guys can see. But you definitely need very little of this, especially if you're as light as me. But the pigmentation on this is great and it actually does last a pretty good amount of time. So um, I'm definitely thinking about trying out more Milani brush. Brush? Why? <laughs> Every single time I go to say the word blush, I always say brush. I don't know, is it just me? Do you guys, like if you guys film videos, I mean, do you guys do the same thing? Um, I think Beauty Baby 44 was having that problem the other day and I think it was her favorites video I was watching or 
one of her videos she did the same thing and I was like oh at least I'm not the only one but I mean I didn't realize I did it that much until like right now when I'm trying to say blush and brush comes to mind I don't even know but yeah I've been talking about this product for forever. Love this stuff. Definitely want to try out more Milani blushes. Um, and if you guys have a particular color that you like in Milani blushes, then definitely let me know and I'll be sure to check those ones out. And last thing for the face would be the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Just because um, with working all the time, my makeup needs to look good and stay fresh all day long. I don't have time to be sitting here powdering my face and especially because it's hot in Florida right now oh my goodness it's like awful out I noticed my skin's been a lot more oily and I do need something that's gonna help my makeup stay in place um I did have a little like sample size that I got from Sephora one day I guess they just sent it to me when I ordered something from online of the D slick one and I think I wish I would have gotten the D slick in this size instead of the all nighter but I was kind of like yeah I already have it um, I'm not gonna use it up that much because it's like I don't use my setting spray like on a daily basis but recently in the summer months I have made a part of my whole routine um, but I definitely think I might have to go out and get the D slick one just because that one would help control my oils um, a bit more because that seems to be you know the biggest culprit of my makeup moving all over the place is oils so um definitely been loving this stuff and I can see a difference for sure on days where I do use it in days that I don't so um, definitely a good product to have if you want to help have something that makes your makeup last a little bit longer. And then last makeup product is this lipstick right here. And this is the Revlon lipstick in color Primrose. And it's just this gorgeous nudie pink. I've been reaching for it all the time just because no matter how dramatic or how natural my eyes look, this goes with everything. It's a really like easy lipstick you don't have to like really think about like what you're wearing it'll pretty much always match actually there is one more makeup item and it is the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express Mascara um, you guys know I used to use this all the time but then along came my L'Oreal Telescopic Extensions Mascara and ever since then I have been absolutely obsessed with that mascara it lengthens your lashes I have a whole video dedicated to like a review and a demo of it I mean, I use it all the time when I'm filming, when I'm not filming, I tell people at work that they need to get it. <laughs> I mean, I tell everyone that is like the best mascara on the market. But the other day I couldn't find it or I don't know what happened and I saw this bad boy in there and I was like, hey, you know, let's go for, take this one for a spin again. And I actually really love it. I actually have it on my lashes right now. Um, the only thing I don't like about this mascara, and I think it's because it's not the waterproof version, is it smudges so bad. Um, but other than that, I really like the way it makes my lashes look. Usually I can not have to worry about it smudging if I um, put clear mascara on it, and but for my bottom lashes, I find the clear mascara doesn't really work, but if I powder underneath my eye pretty well, usually it can extend the amount of time that like the little smudges will show so um so far I've had this on for maybe like three hours like my mascara and it hasn't smudged yet so so far so good but that's definitely you know something annoying I want a mascara that's not gonna smudge at all so maybe if I try the waterproof version um if any of you guys have the waterproof version definitely let me know what you guys think about it um and yeah so finally on to my last couple products it is actually a brush set from Sedona Lace. I don't have all of the brushes right here, but the Sedona Lace brush set was a little like birthday present to myself. And I have been, actually been really enjoying these brushes. I've been eyeing the Sigma brushes for the longest time, but for me it's just really not in my budget to spend like $100, $120 on makeup brushes. So I figured, you know what, these were on sale when I actually bought them. I was like, you know what? I think I spent like $42 on them. I was like, you know what? It's a full set. It comes with 12 brushes for $42 or maybe it's $52. I don't remember exactly. How bad could they be? Let me go ahead and give them a spin or a tryout. I don't know what, why I've even saying give it a spin. But um, I've actually really been enjoying them. These are just a couple of the eye brushes that I used for my makeup recently. And yeah, so if you guys 
would like to see. I would like to do a more in-depth review on the Sedona Lace Brushes. Um, if you would like for me to do that, then definitely let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up this video. Just let me know somehow that you would like for me to do a review on these. Um, because I definitely think I do have a lot to say about the brushes. There are a couple that are my absolute favorites. There's others that are good but could use some improvements. But if you like a more in-depth um, review on each of the brushes or like a demo on how I use them if you'd like to see me do like a tutorial using all the brushes because it, it is a 12 piece kit and it does give you everything that you could possibly need to do like your whole face um definitely let me know so I think that finally concludes this month's well last month's June's favorites video I feel like I have been talking forever I hope this isn't super long and even if it is super long I hope you guys really enjoyed this video nonetheless and as always do let me know in the comments below what favorite products you have been loving in the month of June because I do love to read what you guys have been loving and that sometimes can you know turn me on to like new products that I may not have tried out yet or didn't think would be good and they actually really are so um yeah that's about it I thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys aren't subscribed please do subscribe it really helps me out a lot and it means a lot to me um it'll just keep you updated whenever I post new videos and everything like that and yeah so thank you for watching and I will talk to y'all real soon in my next video bye